Hey guys, sorry about this. I meant to release this video on Thursday the 5th when I originally recorded it, and then I just kind of got lazy and, uh, yeah, sorry about that. So, anyway, it's going up on the 8th, three days later. Apologies. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to a Thursday afternoon episode of Ted Boo Seller with me, your most gracious host, Ted. I've been travelling around today, and I've been doing some errands as well. It is currently just about to turn 3 in the afternoon, so I figured after a long day of doing bits and bobs, I thought, let's have ourselves a little treat. And I thought, I hadn't reviewed a rum in quite a while, so I thought I'd do one for this episode. And uh, the one we're reviewing today is going to be from a small independent brewery in Hastings called Rum Bustion, and this is their Golden Rum. I picked this up not actually from the, um, their cells, from Rum Bustion, but actually from a chocolatier around the corner from where the main brewery is in Hastings. So, yeah, no, I think... This is like one of the nicest design bottles and sort of glass and sort of labels that I've ever seen on a spirit drink that we've reviewed on this show. You know, you've got sort of like a golden sort of sheen a background with this sort of like really nice black illustration of like the seafront, the old town of Hastings with a nice ship there in the foreground. So yeah, there is a ship. I wasn't just going mental. But the company itself was called Rum Bustin and this is their golden rum, which is a 40%. It's uh, handcrafted in a small batch. Um, and it says here, it's a unique blend of premium two and three-year-old rums selected from Jamaica, Guyana, and the Dominican Republic. Yeah, so it seems like it's a blended rum. Now, there is obviously such a thing as blended rum, but I can't remember the last time I've had one, so this could be an interesting experience. i got to say, though, as well as the design of the bottle and the label being really nice, the look, the colour of the liquid is really nice. It's got this golden syrupy hue to it that I really like the look of. So, so far, I'll give it a 10 out of 10 for the looks. It looks really nice, really simple, and it's got a proper wax topping here instead of, like, a nasty plastic one. So, very handsome indeed, yeah. Really, really like that. From the chocolatier I got it from in Hastings, I can't... Annoyingly, I usually... Tr these days, because I'm trying to sort of appear a little bit more knowledgeable in these videos, than I did in my first hundred or so. I'm tr I always try to sort of like remember the names of like places where I got stuff like this, but honest to God, I cannot remember the life of me, the name of the chocolatier or the chocolate shop where I bought this rum. If I, when I do find it though, I am going to put a link to it in the video description down below because they not only had rum like this, they also had like all sorts of like artisan chocolate and stuff like that in there. They had like coffee flavored chocolate as well. It was like all sorts of great old stuff. Ooh, nice, a proper cork top as well. So this is obviously one that you have to drink and you can't sort of reseal it. Actually, can you? Yeah, actually, no, you can. It, 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 the cork topping actually comes in and out. So yeah, you can actually preserve this rum, so that's nice. And yeah, I do like a good cork topper. That always gives it a bit more of an authentic flavor and taste. So yeah, that's really good. Anyway, let's have a quick snifter, see what our initial impressions are like. Yeah, very floral to begin with and then it's slightly tangy, um, syrupy after smell, which is coincidentally also kind of like the main body of the nose as well. It's kind of like golden syrup mixed with dandelion flowers, and it's got this aftertaste, of, after smell of like this tiny bit of sort of like what I can only describe as fermented vanilla, but it really mixes quite well with the flavours here. So. Yeah, that is a really good nose. I'll give this, this just a tiny bit of harshness at the end, but uh, I think I'll give the nose a 9 out of 10. It smells really good. But let's uh, obviously smell it in an actual shot glass and see what it properly smells like. So, let's see. Yeah, a little bit more subdued, but it's still probably like a 9 out of 10 for the nose. It smells really nice. I think the harshness is slightly less of an issue when you're pouring it into the glass because it has more room to breathe, I think. But generally, yeah, the nose is pretty good. I'd say probably somewhere between an 8 to a 9, I think. But anyway, we won't know what this drink is really like until we taste it. So before that, quick palate cleanser. And then on to the most important part of the video, which is to see what this sucker tastes like. So to everyone at home, bottoms up, and have a great weekend ahead. Wow. Tastes like almost no other rum I've ever had. It's really smooth. It's got like this similar kind of like fieriness at the end like you would find in a scotch, but very much so with like the body and the sort of like the general flavor of like a simple golden rum. 
it's not like a spiced rum either, or like a dark one. It's just, it's very much in the middle, in fact. Yeah, so it's got like the the aftertaste and like the after texture of like a scotch, but like a nice, smooth, a fairly smooth one. And it's got like the main body is like that of like, and the texture is kind of like that of like a dark rum. No, sorry, the flavour, sorry, is cut more like a dark rum, but then like the body is more like a light golden sort of spiced rum. So you kind of got this weird amalgamation of like all sorts of different types of flavours and styles, which I guess is kind of to be expected considering they said this is a blended rum after all, built from a bunch of different styles and ages of rum. So yeah, this is fascinating. It's really got multifaceted flavour to it and it's really complementing each other, the different aspects of the flavour. Mm. This, I just wish there was a little bit more general character in the main body of the flavour. And the aftertaste, while it is nice, I feel like it could do with an extra dimension of something sweet like vanilla or maybe like some something a bit more out there, like maybe cardamom even. But generally speaking, like it's pretty consistent flavour throughout. It doesn't clash with each other too much. It is quite fiery and sort of hearty, so like do obviously just be wary with that. You might have to like mix this with like something like ginger ale or something to just take the edge off. But generally speaking, I think this is really good stuff. So I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10. It's really nice. I just think there's a few t things I would tweak, but generally speaking, this is on the nicer end of rums that I've had in the past. So, yeah, honestly, this, this is really good stuff. I would definitely give this a shot, and i definitely recommend it. The only thing was, it is a little bit pricey, because this was about 16 quid for this bottle. So I would say, personally, I think it could be like, a, like I don't know, let's say 2 to 5 quid cheaper then I'd say it's, the price is a bit more reasonable. But still, to be fair, it's not too bad. And I think that generally, yeah, it is one of the nicest rums I've had in a while. And to be fair, maybe my rating is coming from the fact that I'm more used to stuff like whiskey and vodka. So that might influence a little bit. But obviously, if you guys have your own thoughts on it, or if anyone who's a bit more experienced with rum has a different viewpoint to me on this drink, then do let me know in the comments section down below. As well as also, you know, if you did like this video, then obviously do leave a like, share and subscribe and a comment. And in particular, leave a comment about any drinks you want to see me review in the future on Ted's Boo. So on top of that, if you liked what I did in this video, as well as leaving a like, share and subscribe, you can also check out my other social medias in the video description down below, with this, as well as the links of some of my mates who have their own different bits and bobs online. Yeah, yeah. lastly... Until next time, have fun, stay safe for whatever you're doing, don't do anything I wouldn't do, wash your hands, drink responsibly, know your limits, and I'll see you guys at the bar next time on Ted's Brew Cellar. Bye-bye for now. Mmm. Combustion indeed. That wasn't funny. Just splashed them right up my nose. Oh, God. Anyway.